Opening title sequences are important not just because of the fact that they give credit but also they are designed to capture the essence of the TV show or film story. The style, the music, the imagery, typography and text animation of the opening sequences all work together to create a brilliant fusion between graphic design and film making. Keeping that in mind, today we will create an elegant and minimal title animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugins. Just some few simple steps and we are good to go. I am Nikhil from Dope Motions and without any further ado, let's get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. I'll call this title. 1920 by 1080. Let's make this 30 fps 10 seconds long and hit ok so here we have our main composition let's select the text tool and type in the text that we want so i'm going to type in the name that i want so i'll so i'll set the size to around maybe 150 pixels that looks good and by the way i'm using the sugar pro classic the link to download this font will be in the description so make sure to check it out and onto the text i'm going to add a gradient ramp just to add some really nice gradient color to it. For this one, I'll go with a nice reddish pink color. And for this one, I'll go with a nice purple. Just like that, just to add a bit more, you know, cool look to it. Okay, so that is looking good. Let's select the text, hit Ctrl, deduplicate it. Hold Shift and drag this out. And on this text, I'm going to type in Diesel. Okay, there we go. I'll place it right over here. And let's actually select the font and make them italic. So I'll make this italic. And for the diesel, I'll make it a bit like a light italic. That looks good. We don't need any color gradient on this, just plain white. But if you want, you are absolutely free to do it. Place it into the position that we want. I'll select this and maybe play around with the spacing a bit. Just a touch. And that is looking good. Let's turn on the title action shape and align them into the center. You can also use the move anchor point tool to set up the anchor point into the center or you can just simply hold alt and click on the pan behind tool to set the anchor point into the center. Okay, so that is that we have our text ready to go. Let's create our strokes. So I'll select the rectangular tool. We just need the stroke. We don't need any fill. So I'll set this to none. And for the stroke, I'm going with 8 pixels. Let's create a perfect square holding control and shift at the same time, just like so. And then what I can do is I can go into the rectangle properties, rectangle path 1 and set the size to around, let's go with maybe 350 pixels. I think that is a bit too big. Let's go with 300. Okay, that looks good to me and call this line underscore 01 let's rotate this so first of all i'll align the anchor point into the center hit r to bring down the rotation properties and rotate it by just maybe 10 degrees should be good okay so that it aligns perfectly with our text as you can see i'll set it just like so by using the align tab i'll set it into the center actually and then place it like so okay let's copy the gradient ramp so it control c and paste it on the line so it control v to paste that up i'll move this points right over here so we have some nice gradient strokes now let's go ahead and animate the strokes so let's go into the properties go to contents rectangle one and actually i can go into add property and add a trim path so now we can easily animate the stroke just like so now i'll move the offset to around i think 180 degrees should work okay that is looking great i'll go to around maybe one second and 10 frames create a keyframe on the end property go back to zero frames and set this back to zero go i guess 10 frames for forward so i'll hit shift and page down to jump 
10 frames forward in time and create a keyframe on the start property go right over here at 1 second and 20 frames set this to 100 so now we should have something like this also you can turn on the motion blur to add a really nice you know gradient edges that is looking great let's select this hit f9 to easy ease go into the graph editor and if your graph editor is not looking like this then make sure to right click and select edit speed graph select this point and drag them a bit to the left holding shift just like so so that we have a much more interesting animation okay so that is looking very nice now what I can do is let's animate our text so for now I'm gonna hide the stroke let's select the rectangle tool this time we don't need any stroke we just need the fill I'm gonna set this to a nice gray color and then create a shape like that let's go with the rectangle path size unlink this and increase the size just like that and then I'll go into transform rectangle properties and skew this up by 10 all right and place it somewhere around there let's actually place this behind our text so we can see it more properly so now this shape is going to help us to reveal the text so I'm going to place it just over there let's call this M because this is going to act as a track mat for our text I'll place it on the top of the second text and change the second text that is diesel track mat so I don't see the track mat option so you can hit F4 and change the track mat option to alpha mat now I'll go to one second select the diesel text hit P to bring down the position properties create a keyframe go back in time and drag it holding shift just like so then what I can do is we have our revealing animation same for the mic as well so I'll select the mat that I have hit control D duplicate it make sure it's on hold shift and drag it just like so just try to be as precise as possible placing the line in the center point okay let's bring this on the top of mic text and change the mic text track mat to alpha mat I can hit P to bring down the position properties create a keyframe create a keyframe go back in time and drag it just like that let's select both the text hit U so you can see just the keyframes select those keyframes and I can select keyframe assistant easy ease go into graph editor and tweak this just a touch maybe so now we have something like that looks really cool but I think it's a bit too fast so I'll move them to around 1 second and 15 frames there we go this is looking pretty good okay but one more thing that I would like to add to this text is some opacity animation so I'll go into text properties add an opacity property set this to 0 make sure move the time indicator right over here at 1 second and 15 frames go in the range selector advance and set this to ramp up actually set this to all the way up to 100 create a keyframe go back to 0 and set this to minus 100 so now we have something like this and this is actually looking pretty cool same thing I'm going to do with the mic text so what I can do is I can copy the animator one so hit control C to copy it select the mic text and hit control V to paste that up but now I want the same animation on the mic text but in reverse so I can go into options animator range selector go right over here first of all change the advance from ramp up to ramp down set this to 100 go to 1 second and 15 frames and set this to minus 100 so now we have something like this 
you can see really nice animation. So let's turn on the stroke or the line that we have and let's see our animation. And yeah, this is actually looking pretty nice. And then what I can do is select the line, hit Ctrl D to duplicate it, hit R to bring down the rotation properties. And what I can do is 10 plus 180 degrees. That is 190, I guess. And then hold this shape, hold shift and bring it just like that. Now make sure the shapes are aligned properly. So I can use the arrow keys just to be a bit more precise. And there we have a really nice and simple text animation. Now, the last thing that I'm gonna do, or maybe the second last thing, is add a second text or subtext. I'll make this designer. Make this small. And place it in the position that I want. Something like that. Let's set this to zero. Copy the gradient, so hit Control C, Control V, there we go. And then I can pattern this to the mic text, oh so, sorry, to the diesel text, so that it animates with the diesel. And add the same animation as the diesel, so I'll go into diesel text copy the animator so it control c to copy it go to designer make sure the time indicator as make sure the time indicator is at the beginning hit control v to paste that up and now we have this really nice animation but i want the this animation of the opacity to start a bit later so i can select the keyframes and move them a bit forward so maybe 20 frames forward in time there we go this is looking pretty nice maybe i'll tweak the keyframes a bit yep that is looking pretty great let's close them up now what i can do is i can add some glow to the stroke so i can select the lines and add glow to this maybe increase the radius a bit and set the threshold to around 100 bring down the intensity just a touch Copy this, control C, paste it on the another stroke. Oh, control V. Okay, there we go. So now we have this really nice glow on our strokes. And there we have our simple and nice looking minimal title animation inside of After Effects. Let me just show you how to reverse this animation as well. It's very simple. Select all the layers, hit control, shift C to precompose them. I'll call this title hit OK maybe I'll go to three seconds and hold alt and close square bracket to crop that up hit ctrl D to duplicate it right click time time reverse layer hold shift and place it just like that so now we have a reverse animation as well so as you saw it's very simple and easy to create some nice little text animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugins so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did then make sure to subscribe, comment and like and I will see you guys in the next video till then take care thank you so much for watching and don't forget to stay raw, stay creative.